Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. For those of you who are new in here, I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and in today's video I'm going to show you the easiest method for a winged shape. A winged eyeliner, I believe that will never be out of style ever. Ever. It's such a beautiful makeup that if you get to do it right, it will serve you your whole life. But as you know, it's not that easy, even for a makeup artist. But throughout the years, I have struggled with this winged shape myself. And I find that you could have that same result without necessarily using a gel, a liquid eyeliner, or even a pencil. So my method is really for beginners, but also for makeup lovers, just people who struggle with eyeliner. Sometimes your hand is shaky. Sometimes, you know, you don't have that perfect eye. Your skin is maybe not as tight. There can be so many reasons why you're intimidated or you just hate the eyeliner. Maybe you completely drop the idea altogether of creating that beautiful, you know, winged shape. This is the video for you. This is going to be very short and very technical, so let's get into it. Let's start by talking about what you need. So you need a matte eyeshadow, could be a dark navy, could be a dark brown. I don't suggest you to start with black. Go with the brown, go with the dark green, but just don't do black, not yet, okay? Especially if you're a beginner. The second thing that you will need is an angled brush. The perfect angled brush has to be stiff, has to be very thin and stiff. Like when you touch it, the bristles won't bend. The best angled brushes are good quality eyebrow brushes. And where would you find that? At Anastasia. Anastasia has the best, in my opinion, eyebrow brushes. I like this one, it's called 7B. They have another one, number 12, that's really, really good. This is the Anastasia. Look how thin this is. It's like super crazy thin. Now, why it has to be stiff? Because it's going to help you with the shape. I have this mini glam palette that I've talked about in other videos, so I believe this is a great investment for any type of makeup, and I will take the darkest color, this one is matte, and I'm gonna dip my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in here. A little bit of eyeshadow right on the surface of the brush. If I just stamp it, you see, you already have like a super, super thin line. So this is such a great tool. The first step that I'm going to do is to apply the dark brown eyeshadow by stamping it, literally, at the base of the lashes. From the middle of the eye, I am making this line just a tiny little bit thicker. After I'm lining the whole shape of my eye with this brown eyeshadow, I take again a little bit more on the brush. I look straight into the mirror, very, very important, and I stamp it. Imagine there's a line from the end of your nose, end of your eye and eyebrow, and you just stamp it like so. It looks super weird at first, but you gotta trust the process. Even if you have little folds in here, you stamp it, literally. Puff. Again, I take the same eyeshadow, stamp it. If I raise my eyebrows, you see the situation, right? But then, in order to fill in those gaps, you raise the eyebrows and you stamp it again. If you would have done this step by raising your eyebrows, you wouldn't have placed the eyeshadow in the right place. Okay, now you can start to perfect the shape. And again, 
I stamp it. So from here, okay, from the end of the eye, I look straight in the, into the mirror. And again, I stamp it as if I'm trying to create a little triangle in here. You see? And then you could see that at the end of the eye, it's a little bit like wavy. No worries. This is what happens if you have hooded eyes, how do you call it, bedroom eyes, or you're just not 16 anymore. I take a little bit more of that eyeshadow. I look straight into the mirror and I try to basically fill in that little space that made it look like Again, I raise the eyebrows. And I try to perfect it. How do I perfect it? I stamp it again. And here, of course, you could go as much as you want. I don't want it too, too long. And this is it. I dare you to try this. I don't care if you have hooded eyes, if you have deep set eyes like I do. Let me tell you something. If your eyes would have been hooded, would have been something like this, right? You could still do it. You could still pass that little fold. You see, just, just fill in the space in here. Create a straight line. I really, think this is the best and the easiest method if eyeliner intimidates you i know that this is going to change your makeup game this is my super easy method i dare you to try this practice it see how it works if you have any struggles after you try this please ask me any questions because i would like to know what your challenges are in this method so I can explain you better maybe next time, or maybe there are some details that I've missed in this. I really want you to be a master at this. I'm gonna apply some mascara to just complete this eye. This is the Sweet Lashes mascara. By the way, I will put all the details of my makeup look in the description box, just in case. You guys are curious this is it guys short and sweet you gotta try it and if you do please tag me i would love to see your recreation write me in the comments or dm me on instagram let me know what challenges you have with this technique if you have any thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye hairstylist come on set <laughs> like a lady. It was a magic verb, okay? You know, a holy verb. <laughs>